So we did do a little bit of filming pre Pixelop. It was mostly someone coming up onto the balconies of our first team pitches and actually manually videoing that footage. There wasn't really a decent way for us to then distribute that to the boys or use that footage in a meaningful way to sort of impact the boys' learning. We started to look at different ways in which we could approach that video analysis, video capturing, video sharing platforms to see how we can best benefit both staff and boys here in Pixelart with the automated technology it just seemed like the really good fit for us in terms of how it works and all the different ways that we could then use that footage to really implement some really good learning here at the school. So we've got two cameras, we've got one just the other side of this pavilion capturing our first team rugby and football pitch, one the other side of the school on our main Astro which captures all of our hockey but also a bit of the football training as well and then we have three of the air systems that we take to away fixtures or use on other pitches around the school to capture essentially as much game footage and practice footage as we can in every week, day to day, week to week. We live stream every game that's on either the first team football, rugby or hockey pitches, which is massively beneficial for us in terms of parents being able to watch, friends being able to watch the boys themselves, feeling like they're superstars, being on YouTube every other week. But then also just through the vid swap system, we can then send that directly to the boys. The different angles um, really gives the boys to, a chance to see the whole pitch. Um, as opposed to just, you know, perhaps a scrum or, or, or a ruck. And when we're giving them technical information sometimes, it's quite hard for them to see or perceive what that should look like. When they can see themselves doing it either really well or not so well, they can then build on that learning really comfortably and say, oh, I can see what you mean now, sir. That makes a lot more sense now that I can see it from an objective point of view rather than trying to get them to cast their mind's eye back to a game two weeks ago. You know, the years go on, it's important to like, look at the smaller things. And with VidSwap, it enables us to look at those smaller details and focus on what you can do better for the next game. And also, it's just quite a good way to watch how you play. When we were manually filming, just downloading it from the camera took longer than it takes for the Pixlot system to upload it to VidSwap even to clip and code it potentially to then send out to voice. When a teacher such as myself, we're teaching 40 periods in a fortnight, as well as doing co-curricular sessions on top of that, it takes so much time back to us and takes it out of our hands entirely almost, which is absolutely essential for us. It's the equivalent of having a full-time analyst working at the school essentially. I had a really nice story the other day where a parent who hasn't been able to watch their son play for the last two years due to COVID, due to various restrictions or just being too busy was able to watch their son play a football match for the first time in two years. I think it's a massive benefit to any sports programme essentially. Once you can manage that video platform without having to manage it essentially, it's so time consuming and arduous when you have to do it manually that this really takes all that out of your hands and you can just rely on the camera and the AI technology to just do everything for you. Press a few buttons and you're off set and running and you can concentrate on your coaching, you can concentrate on making the students or the participants better in that sport.